right, you're taking a live look at Charlottesville, Virginia, where, as you know, a state of emergency has been declared by the governor. We've seen clashes between white nationalists, activists, and counter-protesters that have turned chaotic and quite violent. The alt-right and their supporters are protesting the planned removal of a statue honoring Confederate General Robert E. Lee. It was done by the city a few weeks ago. Police have used tear gas and batons to disperse the crowd. We haven't had any word on the extent of seriousness or injuries. We also don't have any word of the possibility of arrests. We are waiting to hear that. The First Lady Melania Trump just tweeting out, quote, our country encourages freedom of speech, but let's communicate without hate in our hearts. No good comes from violence. Amen to that. Let's bring in Mark Levine, member of the Virginia House of Delegates and a very uh, good friend of the governor. We heard um, him declare a state of emergency. It was probably less than an hour ago. This is this is your state. This is where yeah. you live. You, re you represent folks in the state of Virginia, especially Char Charlottesville being a beautiful historic this. college town, a lot of history there. The protests that we're seeing today initially planned around a historical artifact, a statue there, Robert E. Lee, Confederate soldier, obviously we're all familiar. But when, when our own Doug McKelly was talking to a lot of folks in these protests, that's not what they were protesting. I mean, these people, some of these people were from out of town, some of these people were, were saying white lives matter. So, so what is your take on all this? Because this went from, from a, a protest on a statue to a protest of a myriad of issues. I think this is a small group of very radicalized racist people, uh, neo-Nazis, alt-right, KKK, whatever you want to call them, that are determined to increase violence, determined to increase anger, determined to really disturb our communities. I mean, I remember years ago as a kid when the Nazis wanted to march in Skokie, a suburb of Illinois, where, of Chicago, where a lot of Holocaust survivors lived. This is intentionally trying to rile people up. And okay. so that's why people shouldn't respond with violence. They well, should respond with counter-protest. Uh, I'm obviously not taking one side or the other, but to play devil's advocate, uh, and, and certainly I don't have confirmation of people getting bust in. I have um, reports of people perhaps being bust and people coming in from out of town because they don't know where the Emancipation Park is, the former Lee Park is. So they're asking for directions. They're coming with shields. They're coming with aerosol cans. They're coming with helmets. So there's people who are coming to also incite violence who perhaps aren't members of that group. There's counter-protesters. I would assume you're condemning both. Uh, no violence is ever justified. In, 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 these are free speech rights. People have a right to, to express their views, but violence is never justified. And I actually think the violence is counterproductive for those of us who, in, who support tolerance and diversity because... I think the white supremacists are trying to promote violence. I think they want violence. I think they thrive on violence. Frankly, if we just ignored their stupid protests, there's just 40 or 50 of them or so, they wouldn't do much damage. I want to get your take on the position that the governor's in because, you know, what, what does he do in a situation like that? We only have about 30 seconds uh, left, but I, you know, he declared a state of emergency. There was really no way to see how huge this was going to be or how violent it was going to get. Did he handle it correctly? Did he make all the right moves? I think so. I think it's necessary in times of violence to, to crack down. It's very important. I want to be clear. You have a right to counter-protest. The counter-protesters we've shown are far larger in number right. than the white supremacists. I think right. this is a minority view in Virginia, and it shouldn't be allowed to tar the Commonwealth of Virginia with their views. Right. Okay, well, I'm, I'm going to have you stand by. We're looking at some of the pictures, if I'm not mistaken, these were taking place earlier. Um, the crowds have dispersed. Things have calmed down a little bit, but I still have a couple more questions for you. Mark Levine, Virginia House of uh, Delegates, so State of Delegates. So stay with us. We'll be right back with more news after the break. All right, you're looking at pictures from Charlottesville, Virginia, where a state of emergency has been declared by the governor there. I want to bring in uh, Mark Levine. Um, from the Virginia State of Delegates, the Commonwealth of Virginia, as you accurately pointed out. I want to ask you, Mark, when, when you look at some of these, these pictures, uh, the whole point of the protests, as you and I have been talking about for the better half of, of five minutes or so, was to protest the removal of a Confederate statue from what is now Emancipation Park there. The argument uh, is that those, those who were initially coming is that they didn't want the statue to be removed. In your opinion, are there places in the, in the Commonwealth of Virginia where there should be statues where we remember parts of our history? First of all, just real quick, I don't think those white supremacists are really there about the statue. I think they're trying to promote a race riot. So I think that's a pretext for the reason they're there. But in my view, in terms of statues, uh, there, there's, a, there's a balance there between celebrating the Confederacy, celebrating white supremacy, which I don't think we want to do, I don't, I don't think we want statues like that, and remembering history. Even ugly parts of our history, even slavery, needs to be commemorated, but is needs that to be remembered. remembered. Today? 
I think it depends where and it depends how. So uh, in my home city of Alexandria, there is a, a memorial to the Confederate soldiers that is quite controversial, uh, but it's not a celebration of a guy on a horse waving Confederate flag. It's, it's a guy looking down. And I think we need context. I think we need to remember the slavery and the Trail of Tears in Alexandria as well. Sure. But we need to remember the ugly parts of our history lest we repeat them. Um, I would love to talk to you more. We have to take a break. We have more news at the top of the hour. But, Mark, thank you so much for joining us on this very tense day. Appreciate it. We'll be back with more after the break.